as the famous saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And that has never rung more true than in the case of these people. That's bloody brilliant. It might be actually gold. Imagine finding something in the trash that will change your life forever and for the better. You find a bag of money and you gotta give it back. From a big pile of cash to a forgotten painting by one of the most important artists in history, here are 15 things found in the garbage that made people rich. Number 15. Japanese Man Finds $120,000 Working at a garbage dump is not an enjoyable job. No kid in the world dreams of one day becoming a garbage man. But appearances can be deceiving sometimes, and in some rare occasions, garbage men can be the luckiest people in the world. Like this worker who became a millionaire in the split of a second. Talk about reaping the fruit of your labor. He was doing his shift at the garbage dump near Toyota City in Japan when he noticed a 10,000 yen note. He then realized there were several envelopes with many more notes in them leaking from a broken wooden desk. He had just found more than a million yen in the middle of the garbage. One man's trash is another man's treasure indeed. But the story gets even crazier. The new millionaire then proceeded to immediately notify the police, and he did this because he was was convinced the notes were false. Why did he think that? Well, because one of the envelopes dated from 2007, and that's before Japan introduced anti-counterfeit money technology. But it turned out the money was very much real, so he basically set the new unofficial world record for the shortest time ever someone was a millionaire. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Winning Lottery Ticket Found in Trash this retired Massachusetts couple won the lottery, but their luck was hanging by a thread. They had a lot of economical hardships at the time. They had a wedding, a funeral, and a new baby in the family. So I guess their heads were too busy even to remember that they had the winning lottery ticket. They were so oblivious to the fact, they even almost threw the ticket away in the garbage. They were supposed to be on holidays at the time, but when their fridge broke, they decided to stay put. They headed towards the local casino to try their luck there. Keep in mind that unbeknownst to them, they were already mega rich. And by the magical strike of universal luck, the husband asked his wife, Honey, where are the lottery tickets? Going in, my husband said to me, uh, where are the lottery tickets? To which she nonchalantly replied, what lottery tickets? And the rest is history. They rushed back home only to find the precious ticket at the bottom of the garbage bag, and behold, it was for one million US dollars. Talk about turning trash to treasure. This couple might just be the most almost not lucky people in the world. Number 13. One man's trash is another man's $50,000 violin. Imagine one day walking around your town and suddenly stumbling upon some trash by the side of the road. You might get curious about it and discover a violin amongst some garbage bags. Nothing special about this story so far, but what would happen next will blow your mind away. The man that found the instrument took it with him and immediately went to a dealer in San Antonio who offered him a despicable $1,000. Thankfully, the man didn't trust said dealer, and when he heard that the PBS show Antiques Roadshow was going to pass near his town, he decided to try his chances there. And what do you know? When the show's host laid eyes on the instrument, he simply couldn't believe what he had between his hands. It was, underneath all that dust, an extremely rare violin made by the legendary Giuseppe Pedrazzini in 1922. And after repair and proper care, it would sell for 50,000 US dollars. $50,000? $50,000, a retail value, $50,000. Nobody could believe what was going on. Both the owner of the instrument and the TV show host must have felt like the luckiest men in the world at the same time. Just goes to show, never judge an object at first glance. Might be a little dirty and in bad shape, but it might still be a very unique and valuable thing nonetheless. 
Number 12. Terry Horton's Jackson Pollock If you enjoy art, you might very well know who Jackson Pollock is. For starters, he is one of the very few artists to have his own permanent room at the New York Museum of Modern Art. He is considered one of the best painters of the 20th century worldwide. Knowing all of this, you can imagine for how much money his paintings sell. Let me give you a hint a lot of money. But Terry Horton didn't know that when one day she went out into a thrift shop to get a painting for a friend of hers. Her eyes set upon a crazy painting full of different colors and shapes, and she even thought it was a very ugly picture. But she bought it anyway for only five US dollars. The painting was so big, it didn't fit through the doors of her friend's trailer, so they put it in a garage sale thinking maybe they would at least get the five bucks back all until an art teacher that happened to pass by noticed it. And he humbly said that he was no expert, but he thought what they've got there might be a Jackson Pollock. And can you guess the price of this particular painting? Over 50 million US dollars. That is, if the art world were to accept it as a genuine Jackson Pollock, of course. Number 11. A family found nearly one million dollars in the middle of the road. Sometimes a story will come along that makes you regain your faith in destiny and the pure sheer luck of some people. Like this family from Virginia, for example. They found themselves bored one day and they decided to take the children out for a car ride. So far, so normal, but wait for it, it gets better. During their drive, they noticed two bags literally just sitting in the middle of the road, so naturally they stopped the car to go and check what was in there. They thought they were dealing with garbage bags that some ill-mannered person just left lying there. They wanted to pick them up and properly place them in the garbage can where they thought they belonged. But much to their utter surprise, the bags weren't full of trash, but of cash. It's a cruel joke. You find a bag of money and you gotta give it back. And I don't know about all of you watching this video and what you would do in a similar situation, but this family actually notified the police to turn over the bags of money. It turns out that there were over a million dollars in them, and to this day, nobody knows where it came from or where it was supposed to go. Number 10. $100,000 in cash found stashed in an old TV. A dusty and old TV was at the GEE Electronics Recycling Depot in Ontario when a mind-blowing discovery was found. Inside the TV set, the workers at the depot found 100,000 Canadian dollars, which is approximately 77,000 US dollars. The stash of cash was locked inside a box hidden inside the console. This was very different from your usual cables and plastic pieces that everyone would expect to find inside a TV set. Thankfully, along with the money, the workers found documents that led police to an oblivious 60-year-old man. The elderly man in question had completely forgotten that he gave the TV set some 30 years prior to a close friend of his. So you can imagine how pleasantly surprised he was when he saw a police officer show up at his doorstep with thousands of dollars. He even said to reporters that the cash in question was supposed to serve as inheritance for his family. Like, there was like four stacks of $50 Bills. But with the swirls of life and the comes and goes, he simply forgot he had placed it in there. Needless to say, the fragile memory that comes with old age may have also been a factor in this story. Let's just hope that the second time around, the friendly man has put his money in a more secure location. Number 9. Million Dollar Painting Elizabeth Gibson, a New York resident, was undergoing the decluttering of her small apartment, a spring cleaning of sorts. At one point, she went downstairs to the streets and immediately something caught her eye. But it's very powerful and I cannot leave this powerful piece of art. It was a bizarre painting with quite an unusual color palette, and even though she was actively trying to get rid of things and not get new ones, some inexplicable feeling completely took over her and she just couldn't resist taking the picture with her. She had nowhere to display it, though. Her small New York apartment didn't provide the proper big white walls that such a big painting required, but she hung it on her wall anyways. And there it stayed for a long time, until something inside her made her curious, so she started to 
doing some research. Turns out that painting was an abstract masterpiece painted by Mexican artist Rufino Tamayo in 1970, and it had been reported stolen years prior to when she found it in the street. The painting went up for auction, and it sold for over 1 million US dollars. Some of it went to Gibson, and she also checked in $15,000 as a reward. It goes to show that you'll never know how life is going to surprise you when you follow your gut. Number 8. Korean Janitor Finds 7 Gold Bars a Seoul airport janitor in South Korea has found seven bars of solid gold in a garbage bin while out doing his rounds. Each bar weighs one kilogram, and they're worth over 350 million won, which is the equivalent of 325,000 US dollars. The janitor has remained unidentified for security reasons because he has turned the gold bars into the police, and authorities are concerned about his well-being. In South Korea, there's an interesting finder's keeper law that dictates that whoever finds something can keep it if the original owner doesn't come out and claim it back. But even in that case, the mysterious janitor would still be able to legally keep 5 to 20 percent of the market price for the gold, which amounts up to 70 million won or 65,000 US dollars. Although, if the solid gold bars are discovered to have been stolen or linked in any way to any kind of criminal activity, nobody gets to keep anything at all. They would go straight to the police as evidence. It is believed that the men that dropped the bars were traveling from Hong Kong to Japan and decided to pass through South Korea to bypass customs searches. But they got anxious and scared, so they ended up just throwing away the gold. Number 7. Ancient Treasure Recovered Recently, a farmer in the village of Hoxton near Suffolk in England was able to become a key player of a very important historical discovery. The man in question, named Eric, decided one day to use his metal detector to try and find a hammer he lost a while prior in a friend's field. So Eric started scanning the massive field with little hopes of recovering his missing tool. But what he found instead would turn out to be so much more valuable and unexpected. After a while of walking around, the metal detector finally started beeping and Eric got very excited, thinking he had found his hammer after all. I mean, it's always a bother to buy new tools. So he started digging into the soil, and then his fingertips came into contact with a coin, and then another one, and so on, until he could fill up two big grocery bags to the brim in silver spoons and gold coins. It turns out it was a long-lost Roman Empire treasure from around 450 AD. The treasure was hidden by the Romans when the western section of the empire was unstable and invaders were trying to take over Roman land in Europe, and the ones who survived would bury their riches so they wouldn't fall into the hands of their adversaries. Number 6. America's Cup World Series Imagine going into a Salvation Army store in your town, and after you scavenge for a while, you stumble upon a relic worth thousands of dollars. That is exactly what happened to Billy Vigiant when he found an authentic America's Cup replica made in 1938. The America's Cup, informally referred to as the Auld Mug, is a trophy awarded in the sport of sailing, and he purchased it for a mere $19.99. Even the case in which the replica came in was more expensive than the replica itself, for which he paid $50. At first, Vigian thought he had found the perfect urn. He couldn't believe how well the cup matched his decor. He had no idea what he was buying. He simply thought the worksmanship was too superb to pass on it. Until, a few days after the purchase, he noticed a book that had an image that was extremely similar to his new buy. You can imagine how dumbfounded he felt when he realized the cup could sell for the tidy sum of $31,000 at auction. The luck on some people. Number 5. The Arizona Jackson Pollock Another Jackson Pollock has been discovered tucked away in a garage. The painting by the famous American Abstract Impressionist was retrieved by a team of people working for Josh Levine, who is the renowned CEO for Levine Auction and Appraisal, which is an auction house for art pieces. The amazing discovery was made during September 2015, and it is believed to fetch up to 10 or 15 million US dollars. This is one of the most important events in the art world to have happened in decades, authorities say. 
On that same garage, they also found several more paintings by other artists and a lot of Kobe Bryant paraphernalia for when he played with the Los Angeles Lakers. Amongst other things, there was a signed poster. The reason why there were so many valuable things in the garage belonging to a southern man that wished to remain anonymous is because they belonged to his estranged sister, who turned out to be Jennifer Gordon. Jennifer was a New York socialite amongst the artists back in the 60s, and she was extremely connected, and most of her friends were to become important important artists, like Jackson Pollock, for example. Number 4. Vintage Trading Cards Trading cards have been a part of childhood for decades, and because they are so valuable to our inner child, they sometimes can go for a whole lot of money, especially the old ones that aren't manufactured anymore and therefore are rare and in high demand. Now knowing this, you can imagine that finding a bunch of vintage trading cards can be an absolute jackpot. Well, what about millions of them? That's what happened to this man who found literally millions of collectible hockey trading cards inside an old Cadillac stamping plant in Detroit, United States. The vast majority of the cards were from the 80s and 90s, and they are literally everywhere in the warehouse. There are some that are still wrapped up in their original envelopes, and some are just flying everywhere. The value of some of those cards is unimaginable, even after having been exposed to the elements for years. Now, you might ask yourself, why the heck would somebody hide such a mind-blowing quantity of trading cards? The truth is, nobody knows. It's one of those mysteries that are too bizarre to solve. Number 3. The Greatest Good Luck Charm Ever We all know what pearls are. Some of you might like a nice pearl necklace, and some of you might not because it reminds you too much of an old lady. But one thing is true. Pearls are extremely valuable and expensive. And knowing this, if one day you happen to find a big, shiny pearl in the ocean, no matter what your fashion sense is, you will definitely be very happy. But imagine that the pearl you find not only is very valuable, but the most expensive and largest pearl to have ever been found in history. That is exactly what happened to a fisherman one day. He was on his boat trying to catch some fish for the day, and when he threw his anchor down, it got stuck on what he assumed was a rock. But it wasn't a rock at all. After he dove down the water to see what the problem was, he realized the anchor was stuck on a massive shell. He kept the shell under his bed for years as a good luck charm, until one day there was a fire at his place and he had to move out. That's when someone else noticed the shell and they discovered the massive pearl inside. It was valued at a staggering 100 million dollars. Number 2. Couple finds rings in the trash. The expression a needle in a haystack has never rung more true than for this couple from Missouri. They managed to find the wedding and engagement rings they had lost, but they didn't just find them under the bed or next to the sink they found them in 10 tons of trash. The wife realized one day that the rings were missing from her finger, and in utter despair, she confided in her husband, who immediately thought she must have dropped them in the trash without noticing. It's worth noting that those rings are worth 250,000 US dollars, so they were not at all ready to give them up, and they decided to go look at the local garbage dump. Everyone said they were insane to think they could find two teeny tiny rings and 10 tons of trash. Trash. But luck was evidently on their side, as it only took them 45 minutes to find the lost rings. Imagine how ecstatic they must have felt, even if they had to dig through smelly diapers to get to them. They might just be the luckiest couple in the world. Number 1. Declaration of Independence Copies so imagine one day finding in the trash the single most important piece of paper in your entire country's history. Well, it can happen. Someone found a handwritten 18th century parchment copy of nothing else than the Declaration of Independence. And the best part is, nobody knew it existed. 
The only one that we knew about is the 1776 original one kept at the National Archives in Washington. This one was found in Chichester, England, buried in the archives of a records office by two Harvard researchers that were certainly incredibly impressed by their find. It's also believed that it was written in the 1780s. The priceless document represents the founding moments of the United States of America, and it is arguably the most important document of the country. It shaped how the U.S. is now. It is a document that literally changed the course of history. It's very difficult to establish the price of such an item, simply because we've never encountered another one like it. One thing's for sure, though, it is a very unexpected find. As you can see, the world is full of treasures, even in places that nobody wants to get anywhere near, like the garbage. What about you? Have you ever found something interesting or valuable in a strange and curious place? Let us know. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.